Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button for more creative budget DIYs. So for our first DIY, we're basically going to be giving this a little bit of a transformation, make it look more high-end. To do this, you're just going to need £2-land items, so this is just going to cost you £2 or just over £2. This here from the artificial plant section and then this mirror you're also going to need a belt so i've got this old belt that i'm just going to make use of so place it on top of your mirror and measure how long you want it because we're going to cut it this is way too long obviously so i'm just adding it to the mirror and i think i'm going to cut it around here And to make this extra secure, because we are going to be hanging it, you want to take a stronger adhesive. I am going to be using a combination of hot glue and this one here. So you can take some super glue. You want to add it to the bottom here. And then on the other side as well. And then also taking my hot glue. So I'm just going to stick that on first, try to centre it, and just hold it down for some time. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. And you want to make sure that it's matching the other side. Now you don't have to add glue all the way here because when you hang it, it goes taut anyway. So you can totally leave off here if you really like it nice and simple. But if you want to decorate it a little bit more, then you can go ahead and just do that. So I'm just taking these and we're going to add them on the side here. You want to take your Poundland pliers and then we're going to snip it off right at the bottom. So I've just taken a little bit of hot glue and added it there and then work out how you want to style it these do move they've got like wires so you can style them how you like and i'm just going to carry on gluing them to the side of the mirror and as simple as that the first diy is completed it wasn't that really quick but look at how expensive it looks for the second diy you're going to take one of these from poundland and then we're going to get rid of this part here, so just cut it off. The other thing you're going to need from Poundland are these, they come in a set of three. So you can leave the background plain, this one here, but I think I'm going to add a little detail to it using some of my washi tapes. Now I know a lot of you are going to ask where these are from. They are from somewhere called Craftspire. It's an online shop. I will leave the link to their shop in the description box for you. They've got lots of washi tapes to choose from and I love washi tapes. So I've decided to just go with this one here because it's light. It's got a light background and it's just got a little bit of detail which is what I'm looking for. And they're just great to decorate something really quick and easy. Look at that. So I'm just adding it to the bottom. Honestly, so happy with this washi tape. Look at how beautiful it is. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I am going to be taking these handles. They're really cheap. You get a small pack from Wilco. I can't remember what it was, but it was a few pence. And I'm just going to paint them first. I'm going to choose a darker colour. So I'm using my Arteza paints. You can use the Poundland ones, but if you do want to use Arteza, the link is in the description box. They are really, really good quality and I definitely recommend them. just adding a little bit more detail kind of like staining it now I don't have any stains so what I do is I take a little bit of paint on a baby wipe and then I just kind of do this 
and um, like rub it in on the surface and it gives it a really nice distressed look and look at how much more expensive that looks now so I'm just going to move on to my next painting job while these dry so you can leave these white if you like I'm just going to add some colour to them so first you're going to remove these and if it's stuck like this don't worry about it because that will be covered anyway so I'm just going to do the same for all the other two so I think I'm going to go with two black and then my third one I'm going to have in the middle and I'm going to be using this colour here and I am using my sponge brush to do this because I feel like it applies paint better and more evenly and also covers the surface quickly as you can see I sometimes like when I'm using the paintbrush you'll have the paint paint brush strokes and I also like the texture that this gives now you don't have to paint the inside just make sure that you go over the edges a little in case that does show but we're going to be covering the inside with some plants and gravel anyway now I'm just going to paint my final one so again just taking my sponge brush look at what beautiful color that is reminds me of the terracotta uh, pots so everything is nice and dry now and I'm really happy with the paint job I'm going to take the handles and I'm going to just glue them on either side so that we've got a really nice tray and now if you want to make this actually like really strong then don't just use hot glue but this is just for decorative purposes so I'm fine with just using this Now you can fill this up with sand, you can fill it up with a floral foam brick and then just add some moss on top or just sand on its own with some succulents or you can fill it with some stones like gravel. I've just got this from Ikea so I'm just going to fill it up with that. And then Poundland sells some succulents, these are different ones I have already but they do sell a few there so you can pick them up and then just add them in the centre. So here's the second DIY completed. I'm really happy with this. I think it looks trendy, so high end, and I really love the color combination as well. For the third DIY, you want to take one of these picture frames from Poundland, and then they've also got the netting in the garden section. So I've got this, and I've just cut some a little piece off so I think I'm going to have to trim it a little bit more but what you want to do is just remove the backing from the photo frame and the glass because you're not going to need that you're also going to get rid of these clips with these pliers again from Poundland so I'm just going to take my hot glue and add it to the sides of the frame all across so that we can stick down this to this. Now you're going to need some twine from Poundland and a bottle. They do little jars but I only had a set of two. Initially I actually wanted to use three, so like one here, two and three, but I just don't have enough so I'm going to have to use just one. So you want to place your twine inside the chicken wire and then you're going to take your bottle and place it in the centre if you're just using one. If you're using three then you can just place one either side and then you're going to tie it around the neck of the bottle so that we basically hold it in place with some of this twine I'm going to tie a knot make sure it's really nice and tight just tie it again then I'm going to cut it now I'm just going to add a little bow this is pre-made 
I got like a pack of multicolored ones for a few pounds off eBay because I really am so bad at making bows. So there we go, that's just perfect. And now you're just going to add your flowers. So you can take some artificial ones from Poundland. They don't do that many, so I think I might have to improvise a little bit and use a bit for my stuff. So this is what I found. I think I got this from Wilco. I'm just going to cut it. I think that's actually, is that wire? Yeah, I'm going to need pliers for that. So I'm going to cut it a little bit so I can fit it in because it's a little bit too long at the moment. And so this is today's final project. Let me know what you think of all of these ideas or if you're going to be recreating any. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!